In this video, guys, we're going to be showcasing a brand new model home that just opened up in Winsong Ranch, home of the Blue Lagoon in Prosper, Texas. You're not going to want to miss today's home tour. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode, Texas Model Home Tours. I'm your host, Alex Piak with Evolve Real Estate Group. Today, guys, we got a special model home tour for you. This is a brand new model home. It just opened here in Winsong Ranch. This is Coventry Homes. This is their Hamilton model. The model we're gonna be showcasing starts at a million seventy nine thousand. However, the model home we're gonna be showcasing has a couple of structural add-ons that we're gonna be talking about as we take the tour. And this home, as it sits right now, is just $1.3 million on a huge 76 foot lot. And there's limited inventory left of these lots. So make sure you hang with us. We'll talk about that. But let's get started on today's model home tour with Coventry Homes here in Winsong Ranch. Hey there, everybody. Welcome inside Coventry's model home here in Winsong Ranch. This is the Hamilton floor plan. Guys, you are in for such an amazing, amazing treat today. This is by far one of the most beautiful model homes that we've featured here on our channel. And I cannot wait to give you guys the grand tour today. So the Hamilton model is one of the 76 foot lot floor plan options here. Coventry is currently offering 76 foot lots as well as a 55 foot lot package here in Winsong Ranch. I will tell you right now that these 76 foot lots are absolutely flying off the shelf. There is just five opportunities left to build on a 76 foot lot. And this model home just opened within the last two weeks. So that'll give you an idea of how much in demand this community and builder is. So if you're interested in a 76 foot lot or even their 55 foot lot, make sure you are reaching out to me very, very quickly. Now the Hamilton floor plan that we're touring today as a base model has a starting price at $1,079,000. This home is about 3870 square foot and base is a four bedroom and three and a half bath with three car garage. And again, that's gonna be just about 3,870 square feet. And that is the base price. Now the home we're gonna to be touring today, they have done a few structural additions here, increasing the square footage. They've added a fifth bedroom option a fourth full bathroom. So again, we are gonna be looking at a five bedroom, four and one half bath. And this brings it up to about 43, just under 4,300 square feet. The model home completely decked out, the way you're seeing it right now is about a $1.3 million home here. Again, Coventry builds such a beautiful home. You can see just by the finishes here, the quality of builder. We've got solid core doors, just great finishes, beautiful engineered hardwood floors. And we are in the bedroom downstairs on the front half of the house. So again, a nice feature we have here is the fact that this floor plan does offer a secondary bedroom on the main level. And that secondary bedroom on the main level is absolutely one of those things we are asked about from home buyers on a regular basis. So great floor plan. You're gonna see that this floor plan really does check a lot of the buyer demand boxes here, including when we go back to the main entrance here. I want to make sure you guys saw that we do have those nice tall two story ceilings. Beautiful grand entrance with the nice wide entrance here as you can see with the home office located on the front section of the home. 
over here, we're gonna come back to this because you'll see here, this is gonna be your utility room. And again, one of the really nice features that we're seeing on a lot of our luxury products is when your utility room, washer, dryer room is connected to the primary suite through the closet, which this one is. So we'll come back through here as we tour the primary, we'll give you a walk through there. But take a look at this. I think this right here is one of those touches that are really important. Having the ability to put your second refrigerator inside the home and not have to throw it out into your garages, nice touch. Uh, most homes here definitely have that second refrigerator option. And as we move into the main living spaces of the home, you'll see here the spiral staircase, again, opened it's all the way up to the two-story ceiling with that super cool light fixture, really giving you such a great view as you walk in. So let me spin around here, guys, so you can see as you walk in from the main part of the home, that's kind of your sight line all the way from the front door. You see the beautiful spiral staircase. And then as we spin around, your view walking in is this nice tall two-story ceilings the staircase leading right into your kitchen and living space and then look how open the space gets here you've got your huge living room separate dining room staggered off over there and take a look at this amazing kitchen guys here you see they've done the two-tone with the island, more the wood color with then the white painted cabinets. Got your gas cooktop. And then this bank of cabinets over here with the little coffee station, refrigerator, having your double oven and built-in microwave. And then right off over here, okay, back there guys is going to be your two car garage that comes in and this is your mud room as soon as you walk in. So right now that is the design and sales center, but you'll be walking in having your mud room. And actually let me show you the pantry as well. Cause you guys will yell at me if we don't show you this. So there's your pantry as it opens up into your kitchen. I love those gold colored pendants. You've got your stainless steel vent. That's a direct vent. I like how they carried the ceramic tile up both sides of the vent, just giving you a nicer higher end finish look. And here they did add the secondary cabinets up top. So you can see you've got your standard cabinet and then the decorative cabinets up top with the glass with the recessed lighting inside. Again, those are the touches, guys. When you're looking at a 1.1 to $1.3 million home, these are the features that you're looking for, the upgrades. I love the slab. Let me show you the, the countertop here. Look at those nice light color. The, the browns and tans on the slab and the vein looks awesome because it just picks up on the color of the island and you can see the sheer size of this island is huge and again take a look at this how often do you need to have a plug that is a super cool little feature there and then take a look at our dining room. Nice, massive, huge. If you entertain a lot, this is fantastic. I mean, that table set up for six, you could easily fit with a smaller chair, easily fit eight people in there. But I like having the windows stacked on top. So you're bringing in a lot of natural light. There's plenty of room to walk around this dining area. And if you do like to entertain, you're still part of the open floor plan here. So the open concept, but you're kind of separated. So take a look at the spacing you have 
into your living room, which I think is fantastic. So many of these homes, I feel like the rooms kind of get on top of each other. Where here we've got a huge open living space and take a look at that fireplace. Kind of gives you that three dimensional vibe with the ceramic tile that they used. And then you do have your gas fireplace. I think you could add some amazing built-ins over here too as a design, maybe do some cabinets with some floating shelves. I think, again, all things that you can do at the design. But again, keep in mind here, let me pan back here. I wanna make sure I show you this as well. Uh, one of the cool things here, one of the options that they did do is that door. That is an accordion door. So basically each section opens up into itself. So four, five of those panels open up, giving you that 15 foot open space on that panel really is a dramatic look. If you do like to entertain that outdoor space, adding a pool or maybe a outdoor kitchen area, and then being able to open up those doors, I think is super cool. Something you may want to opt to do. And that brings up a great point guys is when you are building a home, not only are you picking a floor plan, but there will be some structural upgrades that the builder allows, some variances in the floor plan, like adding a fifth bedroom, adding a fourth bathroom. That accordion door is one of those things that you need to decide whether or not you are going to do at the time of contracting with the builder because obviously that's going to change the structural, um, the structural layout there. They need to put an extra header in there. But again, that is something I would tell you if you were asking my opinion, which many of our buyers do, many of my buyers, because of how many new construction homes we've sold, how many buyers we've represented, I'm able to share with them a really unique perspective when it comes to these upgrades, like which ones make sense, which ones add value, which ones are gonna help you with future value. And those accordion doors are something that I think really do separate homes from the competition. And more so we are seeing buyers who really love that feature. So that's one of those things you may splurge a little bit and add the accordion door uh, because you can't come back and do it later. And here's another great representation. So you see that back wall right there? Beautiful design with all the one by one wood. Somebody spent a lot of time doing that decorative wall. That is something that you can do after you move into a home and you can shop around and probably get it for a very good price compared to what the builder is going to want to charge you for that. Okay. One of the things guys is I don't work for the builder. I work for you. So I'm able to really give you guys the advice on what makes the most sense in the home buying process when it comes to new construction. So those are just some of the ways we're able to help our buyers when it comes to making decisions at the design center and structural decisions on some of the add-ons. Beautiful primary suite. Take a look at this. I love the split vanities, the oversized large soaking tub. And then as we pan around, you've got your walk-in shower. And here they've upgraded to the two shower heads. So you have your rain head and then your standard shower. I love how they contrasted the two different tiles. You've got your kind of stacked gloss subway, but you can take a look at that guys. You see kind of the texture, it's not flat. You can see the light is kind of bouncing off everything really cool helps it pop stand out again you've got your seamless glass shower that's a nice heavy duty glass you could feel that immediately when you open it those are the things when it comes to luxury you know the finishes is really what helps these homes stand out here's your water room here toilet area so you've got solid core doors you've got eight foot doors on the first floor you could see the size of the trim and the molding on everything. Everything is oversized. They've carried the 
hardwood floors here. Again, this is an engineered hardwood. They've carried that through even into your closet area. We've got a good sized closet, three walls with hanging. And there's the door again, guys, that brings you back into your laundry and utility room. So full walk around there. Can't wait to see your guys feedback. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this primary suite. How's Coventry doing as far as their upgrades, their finishes, their design. I just noticed too, look at that. You notice something every single time they carried that same tile and accented the entire wall here all the way up. See, every time I come back, I'm picking up something new, all the little fine details. Again, just screams luxury, high end, great finishes. And while we're touring, let me tell you guys a little bit about Windsong Ranch. If you haven't, make sure you check out our driving tour of Windsong Ranch. Windsong Ranch is home of the beautiful Blue Lagoon, the beach and kayaking. It's like living on a beach, honestly, guys. It's one of the only HOAs in the area, the master plan communities that offers it. It was the first. Now, some are trying to duplicate, but uh, amazing amenities. This is a true golf course, golf cart, I should say, golf cart community. You're going to see all your neighbors really getting around, getting to all the amenities, the cafe up front, uh, which has coffee and some light foods, the gym, the multiple pools absolutely incredible and with all that said just to give you a perspective the hoa is just 136 dollars a month so that is a super low hoa when you take into consideration everything that is included in addition to that here being in prosper prosper isd one of the most desirable school districts in the area we're also looking at just a 1.9 percent tax rate let me head outside and show you the huge covered patio if you guys have been to my channel you know how often i make a big deal about these covered patios because we get to spend so much time of the year outdoors uh, we are in the first week of march guys and we're basically back into the 70 degree weather so we get to spend a ton of time outdoors. And again, guys, we're on a 76 foot lot. These are huge lots for the area. If you've seen a lot of our channel, you'll know that 50 and 65 foot lots are pretty standard. So when you get a 76 foot lot option like this, you have a ton of backyard. It can easily do whatever you want back here. Turf the yard, add a swimming pool, a little putting green, play set. Uh, so much space here. Now, the cost of land here has dramatically gone up over the last couple years, and going from a 55 foot, 65, to even a 76 foot lot like this does definitely change pricing because the cost of land has gone up. But uh, for $1.3 million, what you're looking at like this, I find it hard to beat in almost any area that we've toured on our channel, especially when you consider that Winsong Ranch is one of the top master plan communities in DFW and your proximity to everything that is coming in the fields, the $10 billion development happening basically across the street, honestly, right over 380 into Frisco. So uh, just amazing area. And that's why these homes have been selling so quickly. Let's head upstairs. See, so you got your beautiful spiral staircase. And upstairs, guys, we're gonna have an additional three bedrooms and two full baths with this game room. We've got the open railing system that overlooks the downstairs. Let me move over here. You can kind of see that nice tall ceilings and having those windows up top really does open up this whole room, adds a ton of natural light. Upstairs, again, we've got more of the open wrought iron railings over here to the staircase, and then the two-story opening. In the foyer here, 
Again, those three windows up there, the builder's done such a nice job in adding in tons of windows, bringing in lots of natural light. And as I mentioned up here, they added the fifth bedroom with the fourth full bath option. That's what we're looking at here. So you've got bedroom number five over here with a full walk-in closet, which we'll take a look at. And that's a little storage to some of the attic eaves when you have nice tall ceilings like you have here in the roof lines. You get those little eaves where you can get access to a little bit of storage, sometimes access to your um, HVAC systems as well. So you can see they've added in a couple hundred additional square feet with a full bath and bedroom here. They've opted to go with your stand-up shower, which I think is smart. Again, that's one of those things when you're building, you get to decide, but having the stand-up shower, because this is almost like an additional guest room up here. Um, so it's nice to have the stand-up shower and then having the tub. You'll see as we move through the game room here, which you could have a pool table up here, you could have shuffleboard, so many options up here. You'll see this is the Jack and Jill bathroom over here, which we'll go tour, but let's start off with this bedroom. So the bedrooms are separated. They have some nice space. This bedroom's upstairs located in the front portion of the home. So you've got two nice windows here. You can see they've done a really cool accent wall here. Just basically painted it blue and then put some wood trim stacked and separated. Again, those are some of the designs that you'll probably want to do outside of the builder to save some money there. And again, this bedroom does have another walk-in closet, good size closet with hanging on both sides. Now this bathroom is gonna serve the bedroom we just came out of, but it's also gonna open up and have direct access from the other bedroom. So one bedroom up here is gonna be direct access while the other one is gonna enter from the hallway. And the reason they do that is because you have the game room upstairs. And with that game room upstairs, you're gonna to wanna to have people be able to use a bathroom without having to get into one of your bedrooms. So here's another bedroom. I'll show you the how it closes off here. So this is the bedroom that has direct access to the full bath. And you can see here, this is a really nice size secondary bedroom. We'll spin around and show you the full view here. So this bedroom walks in and it's got its sink area here. This door closes off to the bathroom and then you have your walk-in closet right here. So this bedroom does have kind of the ensuite feel with the bathroom while the other bedroom that we were in previous to this has access directly across the hallway. All right, guys, so we're back upstairs. We're in the game room. I uh, just wanted to take a quick second just to kind of give you guys some updates. As I mentioned earlier, there's only five lots remaining in the 76 foot product. Uh, there are a dozen or more uh, available in the 55 product. I think there are 30 plus lots available in the 55 foot product. So if you know you're interested in a larger lot, 76 foot product, definitely reach out to us really quickly because these lots will go extremely fast just because it's hard to find a 76 foot wide lot, especially here in Winsong Ranch, one of my top three, four master plan communities in all of DFW. Absolute top-notch amenities, fantastic location, 
uh, in community schools. Uh, new high schools are being developed and built right now by Prosper ISD, uh, one to the north of Winsong, one to the south off of 380. So a uh, great, robust, expanding area. And Coventry obviously builds an absolutely stunning, stunning home. So again, this is their Hamilton model. Uh, base is about 3870 square feet, four bedroom. What we looked at today is a little under 42, 4300 square feet with the fifth bedroom, fourth bathroom option, bringing your price tag in at about $1.3 million. But the incentives here are incredible. So if you're thinking about building and you wanna learn a little bit more about the discounts and incentives our buyers have access to, reach out. All my information's below the video. You can scan the QR code, uh, give me a call, let's connect, and I will get you the most up-to-date discounts and incentives. Right now there's Design Center, there's uh, interest rate buy-down with closing costs, lots of great incentives that is making it really affordable to build new construction. So if you want access to that, reach out. And as always, guys, we appreciate you for tuning in to our model home tours. Do me a favor, if you haven't already, subscribe. That does wonders for helping our channel grow. It also makes sure that these videos get out there to all the buyers who are thinking about making a move here to the DFW area who are considering new construction and wondering you know, what's the best community, who are the best builders. So if you haven't, definitely hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys thought about this amazing model home that we toured with Coventry Homes. Leave me a comment and like today's video and we will definitely catch you guys on the next model home tour. Appreciate you guys for tuning in.